Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our daily devotion for Monday, March 11th, as we continue to explore and work our way through the forgiveness challenge. This week we're going to be looking at absolution. Um, today's devotion is based on a reading from Acts chapter 13, verse 38 and 39, and it says, Let it be known to you, therefore, brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you, and by him everyone who believes is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses okay so you gotta have a guy or you gotta get a guy now what do I mean by that many of you will understand that there are certain things that need doing either if you own a car or you you own a house or, or you, you do some kind of odd and end things here and there that it really helps to have a guy Okay, when I was down in Florida and we went to do the sub sale, one of the members on the youth board says, oh, I got a bread guy. You got a bread guy? Well, she knew a guy who ran a bakery. And when, the first time I went to this bakery, it was in a really sketchy area, but you walked in and it smelled amazing. And the price they gave us on the rolls for the sub sales was amazing. Then I had a guy. I had a bread guy. Whenever I have moved to a new location throughout my life, I always look for an old guy in the church who, who has high expectations and is kind of cheap. And I ask him where he gets his car worked on. You got to have a guy. When it comes to car repairs, you got to have a guy. We got to have a guy for pretty much everything. In our reading today, we are told that we got a guy for forgiveness. Now that's important because this week we are looking at absolution. It's the third letter in the acrostic of scars. The first is sin, the second is confession, and following confession we have absolution. Well, what is absolution? Absolution is when the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed. When we are told we are forgiven. And, and not just, you know, like you're forgiven, but totally absolved. The slate is wiped clean. Well, who's our guy for that? That's where we're starting this week. We got a guy, and his name is Jesus Christ. He is the guy that came and paid the price for our sins. He is the guy that came and beat death and the power of the devil and shared his victory with us. So as we read in Acts, it's by this guy we get forgiveness of sins. It's by this guy everyone who believes is freed from everything from which we could not be freed by the law. See, Jesus is our guy. Because of Jesus, we have forgiveness of sins. Because of Jesus, all those sins that we have done and all those sins that we have confessed are absolved. They are washed away. We are free because we got a guy. I hope that your guy is my guy. I hope that our guy is both Jesus Christ. And if you have some friends who don't have a guy, who don't have somebody that they can go to to hear about forgiveness, grace, hope, let them know you got a guy. And let them know all about Jesus' amazing love for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for sending Jesus to pay the price for our sins so that by his sacrifice, we could be freed from guilt, from everything related to sin, and we could be made your children again. Thank you for sending him to be our guy. Amen. You guys have a great week. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.